Uh, so, alright, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, flash the firmware of uh, Duplicator i3 Plus Mark II to the newest uh, firmware which is uh, V0.161 uh, and uh, uh, before that you make sure you flash the motherboard first and then the LCD screen. So, uh, and uh, uh, before that, I need to prepare my uh, tools, the uh, screwdrivers, and uh, uh, this small Allen key. And I have my uh, TF card here, uh, which I have the files copy in it, and I download it from uh, Van Hao website. So, for that, make sure f uh, first you have the printer turned off, and then uh, you need to loosen these set of screws or group of screws on the top of the these two Y uh, Y roads and just make sure they're a bit loose so these two group of screw you have to lose them and then these two bolts right here I just totally remove it this and the other one here and just carefully trying to put the panel down and just make sure uh, the ribbon you, you won't uh, rip off the ribbon screen a uh, uh, ribbon cable of the screen and it's connected uh, and it should be connected to the motherboard and uh, here I have four bolts then I am trying to I have to remove them all if you can see that and one here and I just try to to remove it from here right and as you can see I have the panel here and uh, this is my TF card and as you see there is a SD card slot here and uh, I just insert it inside and you can hear the uh, click sounds you know so alright and then just carefully put the panel here and turn on the printer and it, it starts with a, a blue uh, screen and uh, it takes about nearly two minutes uh, flashing the firmware uploads the picture and the new firmware for the screen You have to be patient and wait for a few, few minutes, uh, roughly around two minutes. And as you see, this is the new firmware. And make sure, make sure before you copy the file uh, into TF card, uh, you should format it uh, as we mentioned in the document. And. Uh, uh, you have to format it and also in the right way it has to be the file system has to be FAT32 and the uh, allocation unit size has to be uh, 9, 4096 4, bytes so just make sure you, you will do it in the right way actually it is very important uh, formatting the uh, uh, SD card or TF card because there are uh, many users don't do it uh, correctly and uh, the flashing process uh, won't complete or at the end uh, when they turn on the printer the logo of the uh, Rhino or the one how just stocks uh, right there but if you do it correctly then there wouldn't be any problem almost done
and it goes to a black uh, screen. So that's where you will, you will know you will know actually the flashing is done. Then you have to turn off the printer. Just turn off the printer, and then remove the SD card. If you if you don't, then it just after you turn it on the printer again, it just keeps flashing, flashing again. So just make sure. You will remove the TF card uh, from the panel, and it just in case you want to make sure everything is okay, turn on the printer. And just make sure you have the new firmware. And it seems to be so. I have everything here, and as you see, that's a new one. So I turn off the printer again and trying to put back the screen board. And uh, again, these four bolts here right on the back of the panel. And just make sure it's tight enough. And uh, be careful with the ribbon cable again. And just fit the wire rod inside the uh, it's mount and then what I will do first is just trying to make these two bolts tight here as you can see and then the group a screw right on the top of the Y roads, the left and the right one. <coughs> and just to make sure everything is okay, I will turn on the printer. Here you go, thanks for watching.